Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Arm Unloaded. <clears throat> Sorry, I got sick again. Um, Texas has been a little bit under the weather as far as uh, what happened. Oh yeah, last week it was like 80 degrees, and then today is uh, actually Saturday, because today's Sunday, was like 29. Uh, so I, I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I should wear Timberlands, shorts, and a big fur coat, and sunglasses just to be safe, and some sunscreen, because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So yeah, we'll just talk about that later. But today we're gonna actually talk about the um, Never Enough Tactical Box for January, which I thought I didn't pay for because uh, I was uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. I thought I didn't have the money in the account whenever they drew, whenever they actually did their monthly uh, charge, basically to uh, oh, the subscription. You need to borrow a job with your broke ass. Option and um, yeah, well, uh, right. We'll just get straight to the box, but uh, to give you guys a note, I have to re-edit my video for December because I did forget to add one item that was in there, and it should be a clip added on today for the tactical stocking for the December box. So just um, if you guys want to go back there and look through that again, uh, I would really appreciate it. Sorry about that. I've been in a rush lately, last couple days. So we're going to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> open the box, which I've already opened. Just give me a heads up. Oh, there you are. And then just to guys, just to let you guys know, this is a uh, never enough tattoo box for supply drop for January. And um, right off the bat, we'll go and see what's in here. I'll go through it as quickly as I can, and then give you guys a total price for everything at the very end. So, first right off the bat is an American flag, America. So, give you guys a heads up on that. American flags are not cheap. They actually run about twenty to thirty dollars, depending on where you get them. Decent ones are gonna be about the twenties and up. If you guys don't believe me, I uh, bought that one, full size one for, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about uh, yeah, $30, $35 for that one in Louisiana at the store, so they're not cheap. So right off the bat, that one was 30 bucks. And uh, we'll just we'll go through it at the very end. This takes too long. Um, next up, we got Red Sun Shield, which is actually, uh, this is just sunscreen basically, but it's like in that, that rule like clay type of material and it's uh it's made by the rag uh, the black the rack the black rifle company uh the black rifle coffee ak-47 i guess it's the tin like the they're basically um they're a uh, small batch small batch of extraction like that let me see let's smell it i don't think it's coffee oh jesus christ it smells like coffee this <laughs> this is like they were not kidding, this is made from coffee extract. That's pretty fucking sweet. Oh, sorry about cursing. That is awesome. That is rad. All right, guys, so that's pretty cool. If you want to smell like coffee, you know, like Starbucks. <clears throat> right, never mind. Whereas the next thing is gonna be some VanQuest patches, uh, medical patches, a glow in the dark one, and a red one. They're about 10 bucks, nothing crazy. Uh, this is the fun stuff right here. Let's get into. This is a Kershaw, this is actually the free fall. Um, this knife, I'm gonna do it off screen, is actually my first ever, came out perfectly, uh, spring assisted knife. So, I mean, that that's that's awesome. Uh, you feel a little bit of tension when you start closing it up around that point right here. That's how you can tell it's a little bit more spring assisted, how good the spring is on the tension, the spring assisted whenever you do it. But this is me not putting any pressure on whatsoever. And that's, that's it. Like, I, I didn't flick it or anything, I just pulled back and it went straight up. So this is pretty cool. It's about three and a half inch knife. It's for, it's made it's made from uh, 13 MOV steel, so it's a basic steel you know basic steel that they mostly use for all their knives. It's got a good jimping right here, not bad. Uh, good, but it feels good in the hand. I'll give you that for being a small uh, a small to medium knife. This is pretty good. It's about three and a half inches to three inches. Uh, I'm gonna wear out. I still got my cold steel uh, recon that I'm wearing out right now as we speak. So until that breaks, I'm probably not gonna use this knife for a while. I'll keep it as a backup somewhere. Um, then the last two things that came in this box, which I was super excited about, and I was glad that my account did have money in it. Uh, besides the breakthrough cleaning kit, which I've always heard really good things about, I was like, I gotta try this. I'll let you guys know how it came out, but supposedly this thing's supposed to be badass, so. I'll let you guys know how it goes and uh, how well it does. But I actually wanted to use this stuff for a while, so. I'll give you guys a, uh, an update whenever I use this stuff to see what see how well it works. But this thing right here is the M23 Javelot from Olight. And whenever I say I have wanted an Olight for since Olight came out, is an understatement. 
So when it comes in, in here, it's gonna be actually, let me get around the camera. Sorry guys, sorry about the lights, my fault. It comes with, it actually comes with the batteries. Pretty sweet, right? It comes with a carrying case, a lanyard. I think this is a sleeve for the batteries. I haven't looked at it, so I don't really know much about this. I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a review just separately on this light. You know, shooting the backyard, show you how it feels, how it looks, <laughs> feels. And then uh, it comes with uh, the actual flashlight right here, and this um, this cap. I think it's either just to kind of dim it down to protect the lens. I'm not too sure what it's actually for. I, I have to look it up. I have to look, you know, do my research on it and actually look at it. But I don't really know what it actually is. But all I know right off the bat is that this light right here, no joke. Where the hell did you go? Oh, lost the flashlight. Oh, we're screwed. Found it. Okay. So basically this light right here at the highest, it's a uh, 1,020 lumens. So I haven't had a flashlight this strong uh, in a while or I've had it one time, but Olight does not joke around. They make really good lights. Uh, it has a clip on the side right there. Nothing crazy, sorry about the focus. But uh, yeah, it takes uh, two CR123s. Um, can't say much more about it. So let's run this down real quick. The reason why I tell everybody to buy Never Nine Tactical and I've stuck with it so long, it's been about five or six drops already. And I mean, you've seen me quit Battle Box and those other ones really quick. And you can even see from Battle Box, they're starting to get into more of just bushcraft stuff, which is not really Battle Box to me, but it's whatever. So basically, let's count this down. Pay 100 bucks. So the Breakthrough Clean Kit, the one you saw, the green one. Um, yeah, get off over here. Okay. Uh, there you go. This one's about uh, 25 bucks. We're going to round it up. Uh, the free fall knife we just saw a little while ago, MSRP on it's 36, but I, I've seen it in stores for 30, but it's still pretty close. So that's already about 70 bucks. I'm not too sure. I'm not keeping really count. And I will add it all up at the end. This light on its own is uh, 89.95, and I've seen it on Olight for 89.95, not including shipping. So if you were to buy one with shipping, depending if you rush it, you'd probably get the same price for a whole box. These two patches, 10 bucks. Sunshield is, if I'm not mistaken, like probably like 16 bucks. That's not bad. And this American flag, which I tell you they are expensive, um, is about 30 bucks. This was made uh, eh, made by Owl and, An Owl and Anchor in America, but it's uh, $30 MSRP. And um, the basic, the basic alone is 116. And basically, the advanced box that they added all up. Thank God I didn't have to do it. It's two hundred and ten dollars and nineteen cents. So, it's not really much to think about here, guys. Uh, it's actually a really good box. The downside is, yes, you, you, don't get me wrong. Getting you know everything in the mail like shit that just comes at random. I understand that's the, the scary part, but I've not had bad stuff, guys. Uh, look at my last box. I actually have a rig in there for an, an M4 rig, just carry mags and stuff in there. That's, that's pretty cool. And. Uh, I mean, I, I really don't know what else I can tell you guys. I would definitely look into it. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, keep the basic comment at the bottom. Let me know what you guys think about the box. And if you think it was actually one of the best boxes of the beginning of the year. So I'm going to go ahead and do a review on it separately. Probably in the same day. And um, let you guys know how awesome it works. Probably shoot in the backyard or something. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit these videos. And it should be up pretty soon. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Sorry about all this. Uh mess with the moving and the videos not being uploaded so appreciate you guys watching thank you so much and have a nice day i'll talk to you guys later peace